The north of England is rightly proud of its reputation for good, wholesome, traditional food. I mean, where else can you find a pork pie or a sausage, not to mention a Yorkshire pudding, to match our mouth-watering morsels? When it comes to the fancy stuff, though, we tend to bow to the likes of the French or the Italians. But now, one remarkable chef maintains that actually, we can have the best of both worlds, as I discovered on a trip to the seaside. You might be forgiven for thinking you were on the Italian Riviera, especially if you were to encounter Giorgio Alessio on his morning ramble. Around the harbour side in Scarborough, he sees much to remind him of his native Italy. As I was to discover in the picturesque older part of town, the link is food. For years, Giorgio has run the Lanterna restaurant, earning a clutch of awards and building up an international reputation for fine cuisine. Using local produce, he blends traditional Yorkshire recipes with Italian ones. It's a combination his customers drool over and Giorgio feels passionate about. <laughs> I never treat this kind, like this restaurant, I never treat it like a business. I treat it as a, as a hobby. You cannot do what we do in here as a business because sometimes I don't think um, it would be well rewarding if it was a business. But it, as a passion, yeah. yeah. When you take up a passion, you put so many hours, you don't even know. You do it because you enjoy doing it, really. So when you took over this restaurant here then, what, what was the aim? What was the ambition, the big plan? Well, first of all, to put... Uh, a real, um, not an Italian restaurant as everybody think about it, a real spot for food with an Italian influences. And to me it was concentrated, uh, most of all, to get prime produce around here, who they are excellent, uh, to my point of view, and to give it an Italian accent, if you know what I mean. So you get all your produce as far as possible, yeah, locally. Yeah, the fish, uh, it wasn't my thing, so that's why we were in Scarborough in the first place. <laughs> is that all is left? Is the, is yeah, there's not much, yeah. not much in today, George. Yeah, but can, I, can I pick up a few? Yeah, please? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I used to go in the harbour every morning to look the fish in there, and eventually I could not resist it no more. I get a licence, so I could actually go and pick my own fish by myself, you see, from the lobster to, to alibu to whatever fish fresh is on the day and that's at least I can uh, is the only way of my point of view I can guarantee to a customer the freshness of the fish because if I have to rely to to fish uh, important or whatever you don't know where he's been fishing you don't know where he's coming from because I mean now is from all over the world you can get fish from all over the world I try not to do that at all you know try to get in everything local <laughs> And what about the meat? Where do you get that? Oh, meat, we, we've been extremely lucky with a couple of a few butchers around Scarborough, but I got my meat from Tony Gibson. Who is, uh, we got a wonderful old-fashioned butcher shop who is still in South Cliff, in one of the nicest parts of Scarborough, I suppose. This is nice. I think this, this is, is for you this week, Georgie. Yeah. I think that, uh, as you can see, that's just a bit fresh, but we're going to put yeah. that away for maybe two yeah. weeks' time, yeah. just so you know that it's hanging. Yeah. I, I can get some meat, you know, yeah. You cannot get anywhere else. I mean, nice and uh, especially if it's local because it's all local meat around here. And uh, I already got him two, three weeks old. You know, is 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 meat I can I can go on with that. It's so tender. Even in our restaurant, we refuse to put uh, a steak knife because that is so tender. You don't need to have in anything like that to cut your own meat. Morning, Dad. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Charlotte. And I understand you even go to the farm where the, where the meat is produced. Yes, we go and have a look just here and then to see how the, the animal will graze and everything like that. And, uh, as, as you can see, you know, we're not far away from the sea here at all, just about a mile. And the, the land runs right to, literally to the cliff top. Mm. And, uh, so that's why the quality is, is this kind? Uh, I think so. I mean, a lot of it is, you know, they're, they're well-bred cattle and yeah. we buy them from Scotland and... Uh, uh, around sort of the Lake District area, so they come off yeah. sort of what we would call high, high hill farms, 
so that they're good sturdy cattle and by bringing them onto what we, we would be classed as a lowland farm here then then you tend to the cattle do well because they're coming on to better pasture really. Yeah. Are you getting as a young animal uh, down to the yeah, farm? Yeah, the, when these arrive they'll be in the region of around about 12 months. Yeah. So we're keeping them for almost a year. So we do have to understand we are part of the food chain and we need to know where the meat is being produced. It's, it's extremely important because only that we can safeguard what the prime produce coming to our uh, table and that is, uh, to me is very important. Now you've done a very interesting thing. You've combined Italian menus and recipes with, with Yorkshire ones. That, yeah. that, that is a surprising thing. <laughs> You've been surprised in the old English cuisine, especially Yorkshire cuisine, how much continental you are. You know, I got some uh, old, uh, like, English recipe book or whatever, and, and you know it's very similar. But then uh, the English cuisine is just lost from before the war. They, they were losing out a little bit, and they never came back to it. They, they were losing generation of cooking. But you've been surprised how much, so how much similar they were. I believe you've also done black pudding with onions on polenta. Oh yes, brilliant, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love that, especially the black pudding. Uh, you've been surprised how many people never even try it. And you'd be surprised, the people who try it, they know how much flavor that thing's got. And it's, it, people don't want to try it because it looks darker. They don't know, oh, it's made out of blood. And you got these people, um, uh, it's more what it looks like than what it tastes like. And that is a difficulty to promote, actually, uh, what good food is all about, eh, you say. But that is, is a very good example with that. Now, all these Italian, Yorkshire, Scarborough combinations <laughs> uh, you've put into a book. That's right. You've written yeah, a book about yeah. it. And you call it White Truffle Yorkshire Pudding. Yeah. Can you explain the title for us? Well, there's probably, it's like me, I'm a bit of a, <laughs> <laughs> a white truffle and a Yorkshire pudding. Uh, it, it's, it's what we do. It's what I think people have to enjoy, really. And not just got, even when they do cooking at the moment with television chef and whatever, it's very concentrated in continental kind of cuisine. But I think the best uh, way to learn continental kind of cuisine is go back to their own roots. And I think the best way to use it, if you are in Yorkshire, go back to having what we used to eat in here at the beginning. And you'd be surprised the similarity. And that's it was easy to write in a book like that. It was no problem with it. You're doing an admirable job, uh, Giorgio, and drawing attention to, to local produce. But it must sadden you when you walk around Scarborough to see that the fishing fleet has been depleted, the independent butcher shops, I believe yeah. there were 40, 20 years ago, it's down to three yes, now. I know, I know. It's absolutely amazing. We don't have a baker. It's incredible. We don't have to be uh, supporting just for local produce. We need to be supporting not just for uh, a little shop as well, but to good little shop as well. We need to revive in people to pick up the old skill and get to it because the, the, the roots are still there. But if we wait a little bit longer, uh, uh, in case everything will come in off from a packet. And that is, is a shame. It's a pleasure food. It really is a pleasure. If, you taking out the, uh, the pleasure away is, is saddening me a lot, really a lot. Well, as I say, you're doing your bit to try and draw attention to it. What's the pleasure you get out of? Well, the Pro customer. Promoting that, that, that yeah, thought. I know. Is the customer. Uh, I always come in the restaurant and see every single person if he enjoys and whatever. And, and, and the, the look in the face is that is lovely. It really is lovely. Giorgio, thank you very much indeed. Well, it was a pleasure. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> Giorgio Alessio, bringing Italian flair to Yorkshire Fair. And now...